if you've got candida overgrowth and yeast overgrowth and also gut health imbalances and you feel confused and frustrated as to what is the best plan for you to follow in order to restore that, I hear you because I felt the same. Yet by following the plan I'm about to share with you, I reversed my candida symptoms in a matter of days and rebuilt my gut health. Not only that, I also sent my Hashimoto's autoimmune disease into remission and I balanced my adrenal glands and I rebuilt my whole body. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about nutrition, supplements and other areas that you need to balance in order to experience relief from your candida overgrowth and finally rebuild your body in a whole new way. Let's get started. Hey, it's Yulia Tabat here and together with my husband Paul Tabat, we are here to help you create healthy hormones, healthy gut and the body of your dreams completely naturally. If you are brand new here, remember to follow our channel and hit the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Now, since I rebalanced my own candida symptoms in a matter of days after years of struggle, I've been making a lot of videos here on YouTube and a lot of them are very popular because they offer a very alternative approach to balancing your candida and it really goes against the grain, what we suggest. So on an anti-candida diet, you are asked to restrict your carbohydrates and not eat any fruit. Our approach, on the other hand, tells you that you can eat all the fruits and carbohydrates that you care for, for as long as you balance your nutrition the right way. So with that, all of a sudden, you're no longer experiencing cravings and binges, and your body is starting to rebalance, and you start to have more energy, and you start to feel satiated and happy, and your sleep starts to come into balance. So let's talk a little bit more about the plan. Now, first, let's talk about candida and supplements. How many supplements do you need in order to balance candida? Now, I know that if you follow a lot of the advice that you will find out there, or you go and see a functional medicine doctor or nutrition practitioner, you'll walk away with a whole list of pro probably 40 supplements that you will need to take in order to balance your gut and your health. And what if I told you that you hardly need any supplements to balance your candida and you can balance your candida and gut health completely naturally by primarily changing your nutrition and yes maybe taking a couple of supplements here and there and yes it is all possible because you see yes sometimes we need supplements and if you've got a lot of candida overgrowth you might need to take one or two to balance your candida overgrowth but that alone is not going to deal with the root cause of your candida. If it's to do with just candida overgrowth and you took supplements, antifungals, for example, and they helped you, then you would be candida free, but it keeps coming back. So why? Well, the reason why is because there are deeper underlying causes that need to be addressed and you can't overly supplement those uh, underlying causes. So regardless how many supplements you are taking, those underlying causes are there. And the moment you stop taking your supplements, because you can take antifungals for too long, they're hard on your liver, they're hard on your body, that's just something to bear in mind. You can take antifungals your, for, for the rest of your life. So then the moment you stop taking them, your candida symptoms emerge. So what we need to do is to go deep and understand what is the root cause of your candida overgrowth. And there are many different ones. So the root cause is going to be individual to you. Maybe your gut is out of balance and perhaps you do need to clear some excess candida, but that might not be the only challenge. So candida is a symptom of a much larger problem that you have in your body. And that much larger problem might be to do with the way your gut is. It might be to do with your adrenal glands. It might be to do with your thyroid health. It might be to do with other imbalances in your body. For example, nutritional imbalances. We'll talk about that in a moment, so stay tuned for that. It might be to do with certain deficiencies. Again, we'll talk about that as well. So what is that larger root cause that keeps on causing candida to come back? So if you just keep on taking uh, supplements, so you keep on taking antifungals and probiotics, and the moment you reduce your uh, or get off your antifungals, candida comes back, we need to deal with that root cause. And know that even the best probiotic is not going to build your gut and the microbiome in your gut in the way that nutrition can build it. And yes, yeah, sometimes we need probiotics and yes, yeah, sometimes they can be helpful. But at the same time, 
know that the best way for you to rebuild your gut health is going to be through your nutrition. And it's also going to be through addressing your health in a holistic way. So, you know, under understanding what, what is causing that gut imbalance in the first place. Okay, so that was supplements. And the bottom line is that you cannot over supplement for other areas that are out of balance. The second area that is so important to talk about is your nutrition. And here is what the traditional approach to balancing candida tells you to do. Carbohydrates are your enemy. Carbohydrates cause candida. Fruit causes candida. You have to exclude all sugar from your diet. You need to stick to high protein, high fat foods, eat lots of vegetables, and then your candida will go away. Haven't you done that already? Has it worked for you? Is it sustainable? And I can share my own personal story. It was a struggle, massive struggle for me to maintain an anti-candida diet. And what would happen was this. I would go on an anti-candida diet like, I'm going to stick to it. It takes so much willpower because you're restricting the foods that you are meant to be eating, carbohydrates. You are a primarily carbohydrate eater, carbivore. You need to be eating a lot of healthy whole food carbohydrates, not processed, healthy whole food carbohydrates. And ideally, the more of that comes from fruit, the better. Fruit, yes, fruit, fruit you all. So I would go on an anti-candida diet, like, yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna commit to it. I'm gonna be strong. And I'm gonna go on an anti-candida diet. You can only last on it for so long because you start to crave sugar. Again, you're a carbohydrate eater. If you start to deny your, the food that your body is designed to eat, your body will start rebelling against it. Give me the food that I am meant to be eating. And because so-and-so guru says that you can't eat carbohydrates, you're like, no, I'm not meant to eat carbohydrates. And I'm just going to keep on, you know, keep on holding on to that willpower. Well, it lasts for so long. And then you binge. And then I would binge. I would binge on healthy cookies. Yes, I would go to a health shop and I would buy gluten-free cookies that were the healthiest that I could find. But I would eat a whole bag because I wanted carbs. I had dreams of eating carbohydrates. I was dreaming of eating fruit. I love fruit so much. And the result of that was first, candida would never balance because I just couldn't maintain it for long enough. Yes, I would maintain it for weeks on end, but then just not possible. And second, emotional instability and adrenal fatigue that I bumped into. And all of a sudden, other symptoms that emerged, sleep problems, and uh, just feeling unbalanced in myself, in my emotions. All those issues are big problems, big side effects of an anti-candida diet. So why are you following it? Here is a better plan. Ditch the anti-candida diet. I did that. Within three days, I didn't have candida symptoms. I'm not saying that I healed my gut fully in three days, but I didn't have candida symptoms anymore. And the clients that we've helped over the years, we've been coaching for over 10 years. We've helped hundreds of our clients. In a matter of days or weeks, they start to feel better. They got, their gut is able to rebuild itself. So you're ditching the anti-candida diet. And what you work in is balancing your carbohydrates, proteins, and fat. So at least 80% of your diet is going to come from carbohydrates. 10% or so, of just under, is going to come from fats. And even less than 10% for some of you is going to be even less than 10% for some of you for a certain period of time as you're balancing those symptoms, those candida symptoms. And then you can certainly, you know, include 10 to 15% of your calories, total daily calories from fat. Around 10% or so from protein. Realistically, you'll probably be consuming 6 to 10% of your calories from protein. So you're eating a lot of carbohydrates and now you're eating a lot of fruit in your diet. Yes, yeah, so you can have fruit for breakfast, you can have fruit and a salad for lunch, and you can have a nice salad and uh, a cooked vegan uh, meal, for example, for dinner. So some potatoes, sweet potatoes and so forth. But what you're doing now is you're consuming a lot of carbohydrates. So your body goes, yes, you are giving me the food that I'm, I've been created to eat. And your body starts to feel happy. And when your body starts to feel happy, you feel content, you feel joyous, that joy returns, you sleep better, you look better, your skin starts to glow. So carbohydrates, proteins, fats, you're balancing those. And then you consume in a lot of vegetables and pro you've probably been doing that on an anti-candida diet, so that's not new to you. And you're also 
building your ratios the right way. So omega-3 to 6, yeah? So you're not consuming too much of omega-6 fats and there's like that imbalance. So you are working on balancing your nutrition and there's no that even that those little tweaks that you'll make in your diet can make a massive difference. We have a lot of advanced audience who come to us with already healthy diets. Yes, yeah, so they're already eating raw or high raw vegan or you know a healthy version of a diet. But those little tweaks and changes that we make, and sometimes they don't see them. They don't understand them. They don't know why their high raw, raw vegan diet is not working. A vegan diet is not working. We make those tweaks and all of a sudden after you know years of struggle, they ah finally feel better. So know that those little changes that you can make or maybe big changes that you'll make to your nutrition plan are gonna make a massive difference to the way you feel and the way your gut is able to rebalance itself and also the way you can start rebuilding your body. Okay, so we've talked about supplementation, we've talked about nutrition and the third very important aspect is going to be you sticking to it. And you see, if you are used to the dieting mentality, you will need to get away from it because this plan is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And isn't it amazing to not feeling fatigued and experiencing those cravings and just limiting yourself and, or going through that cycle where you restrict things, then you fall off the wagon, you punish yourself, and then you get back on the wagon, you restrict certain things and you, again, you can maintain it for too long, you fall off the wagon, you punish yourself. So you are getting out of that cycle. You're loving your body, you're bringing the best food into your body, your body's starting to respond to it. You feel more energy, you can start exercising more, you can start thriving in life, you can start achieving more, you can start achieving more as a person who is here to build a thriving career and maintain and keep on building a thriving career and a person who is here to look after your family and be there, be present for your loved ones. So you can start noticing difference in other areas, but you're gonna get away from that dieting mentality. It's like, oh yeah, it's just another diet that I'm gonna go on. No, you need to maintain it in order for your body to rebuild itself and know that gut building, so you building that good gut bacteria and rebuilding your gut health, it will take a while. And uh, while the symptoms will go away, you will need to stick to it for long enough. And as I, as I said, in my case, as well as unbalanced gut, I also had Hashimoto's to balance and hypothyroidism, you know, wanted to improve my thyroid. And I also wanted to overcome other health issues that I was experiencing at the time, adrenal fatigue and PCOS and other issues. And that's the lifestyle plan that I've been maintaining personally for the last 13 years. So my husband and I, Paul and then I have been maintaining this lifestyle for the last 13 years and we help people reclaim their health with this lifestyle. So you need to approach it from a very different perspective. It's like, okay, so I'm gonna be going in a new direction. That, that direction is the direction that can not only help me rebuild my health, but also maintain it and prevent the nightmare of the future. So many people are experiencing, you know, the major killers, yes. Yeah? So we're talking about cancer, we're talking about diabetes, we are talking about heart attacks and heart disease. We are talking about a lot of other challenges, gut, gut imbalances, autoimmune diseases, you need to be able to prevent them in the future. And you need to be able to go through life not experiencing them. So this is the best lifestyle plan. So you see how we started from Candida and all of a sudden there's this big picture that you are realizing, yes, and that is what can happen when you follow the right plan. So if you would like to put it all into practice, I would love to invite you to a free online training class where I will show you the five steps our clients are using in order to rebuild their gut health, their hormones, the health of their hormones, and lose 10 to 50 pounds naturally with zero carbohydrate restriction. We don't do any of that. So all you need to do is register and grab your spot and watch it. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. And since we've talked about candida, let's talk about the three big candida myths that you need to avoid in order to balance your candida. See you there.